Hello, welcome to our site webrtc.tools. Here I will show you in 10 minutes how to create your free video chat. Uh, I already created an account for you that you will be able to log in, but you can create your own account, it's free and take only one minute. After the login, you have to add a website. We add mytest.com, but you can add which name you want. After you add a website, and we generated for you a public guide. The public guide is something that is unique to your account, and you can see it here. This is the part of your credentials. If you put this link in a new tab, you can see that you get string that is a JSON format and it will return you all the ICE servers. You also can use directly our IP turn server with the user and password. If you want to update it, you can click here, it will update your credentials. You see it's changed. Now, if this is the complete address, we use port 80, one time TCP and one time UDP. It's very important. Also, we give you a link to a turn server test that you can check that it's, and it's a new turn server is really working. Here you can see the test itself. We open it in a new tab and we take the link we got. Okay, now we put the link with your username and password. And we do add server. Remove the last one. And now we do the test itself. It's gather candidate. Like you see here, we get done. Done, it means everything is working well. We check it in TCP, but you can check it also in UDP. Now here in this section, we add a couple of sample code, C sharp, Node.js, PHP and JavaScript. You can use them or you can write your own code. Uh, it depends on you. After you create the Terra server, we don't need to create a single ser signal server because this is already part of our system. And now we will go and create a new simple chat, one-to-one -one users. You will see it here. This is already working. This is a sample that used your credentials, your turn server credentials and uh, your public guide. You can check, you can take the link from here, put it in another tab, and you can see it's already working. It will ask you for camera, because we already did it, it didn't ask us. Here you see, you see that someone is connected. So here we even use the click event to connect the chat. Okay, and like you see, the two cameras are working. And even you can write between them. Here is the... Ex the explanation how we did this with all the steps is just a regular uh, html page including two css files this is our design you don't have to use it you can use it just if you want under it there is another js file this you must have this is connection to our signal server with jquery with the adapter js it's something that you need to have Okay, and uh, this section underneath step four, it's use your credentials, you see, 
in JavaScript to get the JSON of the ICE server and put it inside var that call configuration. This var will be object. If you see underneath there is json.parse result. It get the result and parse it from json to object. Now we have object with all the data inside. Here we have a couple of more steps that explain everything how to do it, but in the end we have all we have all together uh, area. This area is the full code with all the above step. In this uh, file <coughs> you can see that we have user git. The user git is a part of the room. Each room consists of two users and one chat git. Chat git is like the idea of the room and uh, one user. You see here we show you there is user git one and user git two. This is the one and this is the two. Now when you created a HTML files to check it, you will have to put in each one of them different uh, user git. So we will do empty HTML file, we call it user.html and we will put the code from the website. This code already contains all your data that we generated for you. Here, we put it here, it's ready. Now we duplicate the page and rename it to user2. The only change that we have to do is to change the user git because this is the only difference. The chat git, like we say, it's the room ID, but the user git is different. So we go to the sample and here you see under the sample we have another user read. We copy it and we overwrite the current read. Let's check it. We open two tabs and you see it's working. You even can, uh, can write inside and see one each other. This is local, uh, the, here the files are local, but if you want to put them in the web server, it must to be HTTPS, otherwise it won't work. WebRTC force you to use HTTPS. Okay, but it's not enough. If we want to make something like a dynamic website with, a, let's say, dating video chat, you must have a lot of rooms, not one rooms. So how can you make a lot of rooms? Because here is just one chat guide, it said one room ID, and two users. It's not enough. You must to generate something more dynamic. So for this, we have a page that called user guide generator. This page can generate for you rooms. And uh, you can take it to your own uh, database, SQL, MySQL, whatever, and use it. Or use our API to generate it automatically. We show you how to use it. Here, this is the sample from the, the, the one that we already generated for you. It's in the last tutorial we just showed you. But we can generate more. Look, we click generate and it generate. We click again and again. You can generate until 100. 